James arrives at a beautiful haunted hotel in the mountains. He meets three people in the lobby, Gemma, Mike, and Peter. Each person claims to be the hotel manager. Can you help James figure out the real one? Take a look at Gemma. She's holding a badge with Mike's picture. And according to this badge, Mike is a cleaner. Meanwhile, Peter is holding a passport with Gemma's picture. Therefore, she's probably a guest. So Peter is the real manager of this place. Peter gives James this key and says, It's from our best penthouse. The room is yours if you manage to find the matching keyhole. Can you help James accomplish this task? He should choose the third hole. James should choose one of these three elevators to get to his room, but only one of them is safe. Which one would you suggest? There's a ghost hiding in the mirror inside the first elevator, and the third one doesn't have any floor, so he should use the second elevator. James is walking down the hallway and spots three weird details. Can you see them too? The doors are numbered completely out of order. This painting on the wall is moving, and there's a snake hiding inside this plant. James enters his penthouse, but he immediately runs away screaming. Why? Someone's invisible hands are playing this piano. James asks Peter to give him another room. Peter offers him three options. Which one should James choose? There are spiders on the bed sheets in the second room, and there's a werewolf hiding under the bed in the third room. So the first room is the best choice. James unpacks all his things and finally goes to the shower. After that, he returns to his room and finds out that he had been robbed. Can you spot what exactly was stolen? A box of matches, shoelaces, and a book. James gets very upset because he keeps all his cash in the stolen book. He calls the police, but there's no service. James hits the road and gets stuck in this traffic jam. Can you figure out which car should move first? The third car should move first by reversing. Finally, James arrives at the police station. He sees these two women behind the bars. One of them is the wife of the jail guard. Can you guess who? The second lady. They're both wearing similar pendants. Detective Green listens to James's story and goes to the hotel. He finds three suspects and asks them only one question. Did, uh, did you enter James's room after he moved in? Mike replies, Nope, I cleaned this room early in the morning, and I haven't entered it since. Maya says, I live next door, and I heard James singing in the shower, but I didn't enter his room. And Peter replies, No, sir, I was in the lobby the whole time. I would never risk my job by stealing a stupid book. Can you spot the thief? Peter, Detective Green never mentioned what exactly was stolen. The hotel owner fires Peter and offers his job to James. James agrees. The owner wants to check his logical thinking. That's why he offers James to solve a riddle. Can you find anything similar between the front of a lady and the back of a seal?
The correct answer is the letter L. James gets the job. His first task is to take care of these four new guests who have just arrived, but only two of them are real. Can you guess who? The first lady is a ghost. Take a look at her feet. She's levitating. And the fourth guy is a thief. He's stealing a credit card from the second person's bag. So only the second and the third person are actually the guests. James goes to the restaurant to have some dinner. The cook serves him a big dish with sushi, but James didn't wash his hands, so he leaves for the bathroom. When he returns, he sees that someone has eaten a couple of items from his plate. James questions three suspects. Gemma, the guest says, Honey, are you kidding me? I'm allergic to all kinds of seafoods. Tim, the waiter replies, I was too busy. I took an order in another part of the hall and didn't look at your table. I'm sorry. Carl, the cook, says, That's too bad. I made this sushi only for you. Who's lying? Gemma, if she's allergic to all kinds of seafoods, why did she order this lobster? James goes to the hotel basement to check the storage room. This is how it looks right now. And this is how the storage used to look in the morning. Can you spot what's missing? Two buckets, one mop, and one bathrobe. James gets lost in the basement and finds these three doors leading upstairs. Each door hides something surprising. There's a creepy clown behind the first door. There's a hungry wolf behind the second door. And the third way is filled with toxic gas. Which way is the safest? The first one. Although the clown is creepy, who said that he's dangerous? There's a power outage throughout the hotel area. About an hour later, at 10 p.m., the local mechanics finish all repairs and turn the lights back on. James returns to the lobby and faces one of the guests, Nancy. She's crying because someone had stolen all the money and gadgets from her room. James finds three suspects and asks them just one question. What were you doing within the last hour? Kim says that she was just chilling in a restaurant and had nothing to do with the robbery. Alex spent all his evening skiing in the hotel ski resort. And Robin had just arrived from the city, and it was quite a quest to find the hotel in the dark. Who's the thief? Alex, how would he ski in total darkness? James goes to the shower. He finds these three bars of hotel soap, but only one of them is safe to use. Can you guess which one? The first soap had expired a long time ago. Take a look at the date. It was made in 1980. And there's a little scorpion hiding under the third soap so James should definitely choose the second one. James decides to have a walk around the hotel before sleep. Unfortunately, he gets lost in the garden. Now he needs to get out of this crazy maze. Can you help him out? Here's the only way to escape from this trap. Carl, the local cook, is making an exclusive soup using his granny's recipe. He mixes all the ingredients except for one last one. Suddenly, the wind blows off the recipe and the sheet of paper with the recipe flies into the fireplace. The cook is desperate. He doesn't remember the name of the last ingredient, but he knows for sure that it stands on the shelf with seasonings. Also, he knows that the soup should be orange. Can you help Carl finish the dinner?
When you mix red and yellow, they turn into an orange. That's why Carl should add red and yellow spices. James reads the hotel reviews online. Lucy writes, They gave me a room with a garden view, but I wanted mountains. Ah, but the food is still amazing. Giselle says, This hotel is so noisy and dirty. Carpets in the lobby are stained. Gross. One star. Jessica writes, OMG, last night I saw a ghost in my room. This hotel is really haunted. One of these reviews is fake. Can you guess which one? The second review isn't real. There are no carpets in the lobby. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.